In this tutorial, you'll see how to leverage user groups to save time and manage access control for multiple users at once. To get started, navigate to the User Management menu in the left-hand side and click User Groups. Here, you'll see a list of existing user groups for your JumpCloud organization. To add a new user group, click on the green plus button in the top left. A configuration panel will slide in from the right-hand side, allowing you to start building your user group. The first tab is the Details tab. This is where you can set your user group's name, Linux group name, and GID if applicable, enabling Samba capabilities, and custom attributes that can be leveraged for SSL. Note, if you're enabling Samba, you must first bind this group to LDAP, which is found in the Directories tab on the User Group Configuration pane. In this example, we're going to create a user group for the sales team, and we're going to leave the Linux group, Samba enablement, and custom group attributes blank in this use case. Under the Users tab, you can add JumpCloud users to this user group by checking Desired Users. Any users added to the user group will gain access to all of the resources you configure on the following tabs, such as device groups, applications, radius networks, and directories. You can also search for specific users within the list by either entering their username, name, or other attributes in the search bar. To show all bound users within the group, enable the Show Bound Users checkbox to the right of the search bar. Users can belong to multiple groups, which is often recommended. For example, a sales manager may be a part of a management group with access to specific SAML applications for management needs, as well as the sales group giving them access to another set of SAML applications for sales needs. Under the Application tab, you'll see a list of the SAML SSO applications you've configured. Common examples could include Salesforce, AWS, Slack, Zoom, and many others. By binding the user group to an application, this allows group members to be bound to the SAML application, homogenizing the password, and adding the SAML app to their JumpCloud user portal. If the application is enabled for identity management via SKIM or just-in-time provisioning, users will either be provisioned if they didn't previously exist in the application, or taken over and updated if they do exist in the application. Securing your company network is important. By leveraging JumpCloud Radius, you can select which user groups have access to your Wi-Fi or VPN networks. Under the Radius tab, we will bind the user group to the Radius network, thus giving the users within the user group access to log in and connect over our organization's VPN via Radius authentication. Lastly, the Directories tab allows you to bind a user group to the different directory integrations configured within JumpCloud. These integrations could include Office 365, G Suite, and JumpCloud's LDAP as a service. This will allow JumpCloud to link and manage the user accounts in the selected directories. You can then save your configuration by hitting the Save button in the bottom right. This immediately provides the users within the user group access to the selected resources using their JumpCloud credentials. Check out our other resources on leveraging user groups for more details. Thanks again.